Hey there, it's Mandy from Mandy Marie Art. It's time for another Copic Ink Refill Swatch video. In this video, I'm going to swatch my collection of green inks from Copic. So let's dig in. All right, first up is G000, which is pale green. And this color has a lot of aqua staining on the base and some yellow that bleeds out around the edges with a soft green as the main color focus. This color is a little light, so there is some stickiness or tackiness along some of the edges, but overall it's, um, it's a pretty smooth um, ink color. Again, just along those edges, it can get a little gummy or tacky. Next is G00, which is jade green. Very similar to pale green, the yellow bleeding out along the edges, not as much as pale green, and of course, a lot of aqua staining on the base. So you wouldn't need both of these colors. I think you could probably pick one or the other and be happy with either of them. I think jade green is a little less sticky than the pale green, but again, both are very similar. Next is G02, which is Spectrum Green. And this one, again, has a lot of the aqua staining on the paper. There's yellow bleeding out. It's more of a fluorescent yellow. And then there's a really fluorescent type green along the edges. Next is G05, which is emerald green. And with emerald green, there is some aqua staining underneath, but it's not as noticeable as some of the other colors. And then some yellowing along the edges. It's not very sticky, tacky, or gummy. Next is G12, which is sea green. And this reminds me of sea glass. Uh, there's this nice aqua staining to the paper below, a very soft green on top and then some kind of like mustardy yellow along the edges that's kind of bleeding through. It's not very sticky or gummy. Next we have Malachite, which is G16. And this is a really nice vibrant green. I would use this if I was looking for like that great like Christmas green. Um, there is some aqua staining underneath, not too much, but a little bit there and a tiny bit of yellowing that bleeds out on the paper. Uh, it can get a little tacky or gummy along the edges where it's a little bit darker. And then there is some kind of yellowing throughout in there as well. Next is G17, which is forest green. And similar to the Malachite G16, um, there's again some aqua staining, not as much yellow bleeding out, um, and then the green isn't as intense as G16. Next is G21, which is lime green. This color has um, some aqua staining on the base underneath. The green itself is kind of an olivey green, and then there's kind of like that darker, deeper mustard yellowing that's bleeding out. A little tacky and gummy along the edges, but not much. Next is G29, which is pine tree green. I really like this. It does, it definitely reminds me of like a blue spruce pine tree. So there's that nice blue tint to it, if you will, um, which is that aqua staining underneath. The yellow is a brownish yellow along the edges that's bleeding out, so it's very subtle. And then there's just some deeper green that's right along the edges where that ink builds up. Next is G40, which is dim green. And very light aqua staining on the paper, a little bit of yellow bleeding out. This color though, because it is a bit lighter, it is definitely gummy along the edge, more gummy than some of the other colors. Next is G43, which is pistachio. And it is a color that can build up gumminess or texture along the outer edge. There's some aqua staining to the paper again, and then some mustardy yellow 
beigey yellow along the edge that bleeds out. Then we have G82, which is spring dim green. And again, aqua staining on the paper, a beigey yellow bleeds out. There's a little bit of brown even towards the edges. And then the main color being kind of that olivey green. Next is G85, which is verdigris. And this is another stable green option. There's not a lot of the greens that are super stable, um, but this one doesn't have a lot of undertones, just a very subtle aqua, tiny, tiny little bit of beige along the edges, like a beigey yellow, but not much. Um, and of course it makes sense that these greens are not stable because again, you're mixing blue and yellow together. So you're gonna have some subtleties that pop out. But here you don't see nearly any of the aqua staining to the paper. Just a tiny little bit of that aqua, tiny little bit of the beige yellow there. Next is G94, which is grayish olive. And this one, the aqua is stained underneath the green. You can't see it as much, but it is there. It's a little more subtle. And then the bleeding out of the yellow is more of a brownish yellow beigey brown on the edge there. Um, this one can definitely build up because it is a darker hue, so a little tacky along those edges there. But otherwise, it's just a really fun color. There's lots of elements and things that are happening with it. Finally, we have G99, which is olive, and this definitely looks like olive. Little tiny bit of aqua staining underneath, but it's so subtle you can barely notice it. And then of course along the edges is more of that brownish green where the yellow is kind of bleeding out, but the yellow is um, mixing with that green so much that you get more of like a brown tone along those edges with the, the colors just mixing and melding together. All right, one last look at my personal collection of green inks from Copic. If you enjoyed this video and wanna learn more about alcohol ink, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and you'll be notified the second I upload a new video. So that's it from me. Let's meet up again.